Hey Rocketeers, in this video we're going to learn how to breathe. A lot of people have a hard time breathing to the side when they swim or breathing in front of them or in any way, shape or form, they struggle getting their air when they're in the water. Today I'm going to teach you how to get that breath in each stroke and when you're swimming on your belly or floating on your belly. The most common mistake I see beginners make when trying to breathe in the water is they need more than one breath at a time without realizing they need more than one breath. That means they haven't learned or practiced how to space their air out so that they only need one sharp breath at a time any given time they lift their head out of the water. So that's what we're gonna learn first. We're not gonna learn how to breathe to the side just yet, but we are gonna learn how to take one breath at a time. We'll start with a kickboard and needing two breaths and putting your face back down in the water and continuing to kick. You'll take two more breaths, face back down, and continue kicking. Once you're good at getting two breaths at a time, now you're gonna wanna do one breath. So, kick with your feet till you need a breath, lift your head, one breath, face back down. If you find yourself pausing your kick while you do this step, that's okay, that's pretty common. Try to kick through your breaths while you do this step. That'll be very key for when we add in the arms because right now you're trying to do two things at once, get your breath and kick. When we add in the arms, that's three things. Now we're gonna learn the pineapple. The pineapple is how you get your breath on your back. Now we're gonna take a step back here and allow you to take more than one breath at a time again. So when you roll to your back to get your breath, it's okay to take two or three or four breaths here. Take as many as you need until you're comfortable and then roll back to your belly. Now, when you roll to your back for your pineapple, you're gonna take one breath and one breath only. Once you've got that good breath, roll back to your belly and keep swimming. Now when you roll onto your back, keep one arm extended behind you. With one arm extended behind you, you're gonna be able to get that breath quicker and continue swimming easier. It's also going to keep your body balanced in the water. That front quadrant swimming is always what we're looking for to keep our body balanced. That'll help counteract any sort of sinking legs that you might be having. Now, instead of rolling all the way to your back, I only want you to roll onto your side. Keep one arm extended out front and roll onto your side here take two breaths. Once you've mastered two breaths, roll to your side, take one breath. Exhale under the water and inhale to the side, cutting your breath time in half so that when your arm is coming over your head, you don't get any uninvited water over your face. When you breathe to the side on freestyle, Try not to lift your head up in the air or show me your ear because you're gonna sink your legs. It's best if you can keep your head on your arm, ear on your shoulder, and maybe one goggle in the water, one goggle out, maybe both eyes, but keeping your head down in the water like that is very key. You don't need to lift your head out of the water. In fact, I've, I've found that when people lift their head out of the water, sometimes they'll choke on water because your mouth is on your chin, not your forehead. So if you're lifting your forehead up, your chin's dropping. Rather, keep your forehead tilted down so your chin pops up. Last step for the freestyle breath is making sure you're getting your breath slightly behind you. Most people breathe in front of them or in front of them into the side I much prefer you to breathe side and slightly behind you.
Now, if you're not quite ready for the freestyle breath, or you might find it a little too challenging, then start with the breaststroke breath. The breaststroke breath is easier for most because it's in front of you, which is more natural for humans. They want to see where they're going. They want to be breathing in front of them, not behind them. That's okay. If you're more comfortable with that, start there. It's also easier because you can take two breaths at a time if you need to, without panicking. And once you've gotten good at that, blow your air out underwater, breathe once in above the water, and you'll feel really, really smooth. The only drawback to the breaststroke breath is that you're lifting your head up out of the water. That is going to sink your legs. So unless you are a strong breaststroke kicker or just a confident swimmer, you might find the breaststroke breath difficult as well but I still recommend you try it. Once you've got your air, put your head back down below the water and below your arms to let your body rise back to the surface. Thanks for watching this video. Right. If you appreciate it, splash that like button, subscribe to the channel and follow us over on our other social media channels for more content throughout the week.